What is going on guys? Andy Gabs here and welcome to my 2019 in review video. I feel like if you do YouTube you kind of have to make one of these. Um, but it was honestly kind of cool to look back at some of my favorite moments from throughout the year and kind of make a like rampage video of some of my favorite things. Obviously it doesn't include all my favorites. I don't even remember everything that I did uh, last year or this year because it's not 2020 yet. Um, I'm editing this on New Year's Eve. I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's. So I already went through all my videos and I picked out some of my favorite moments. That's why my laptop is right here. I literally have iMovie open as I'm editing or as I'm filming this. I want to start off by saying thank you to you guys. 2019 was a rocking year. You guys are awesome. We hit all kinds of milestones. Uh, I was able to monetize the channel, which is super cool. Let's get into looking at some of my favorite parts of 2019. I would assume it's some of your guys' favorite parts too. And that is starting out with the Pomona Reptile Expo. Some of my most viewed videos of the year were right in January, right at the beginning, hanging out with you know Dave Kaufman, Miguel, Forrest Fanning. That's kind of when me and Forrest became good friends, I guess, was at Pomona. I met all kinds of people, so let's look at some of my favorite moments from the Pomona Reptile Expo. To hey Mr. Guys, Dave up? Kaufman. Enjoy the view. Nick from Wyoming Reptiles. Austin from Ball and Chain Constrict. The Snake Trap Sessions on YouTube. Hey, welcome to Andy's Wine. It's for my birthday. We're allowed to drink some Dom Perignon at the table. Yeah, let's do it. On YouTube. John Fe Renowned Reptiles on Instagram. Here with JP Reptiles What's Canada. On, guys? We just jacked Andy's camera, right? Forrest Fanning. I think probably all of you know who he is. Brian is a cheeky little handsome man. Should I be looking at you or the camera? Um, the big well. No. Uh, so just interrupting real quick. One really funny thing that happened at Pomona that you guys are about to see. Me and Cusco, I think I called him like a little bitch or something like that. And we ended up wrestling at like the after after party at the Pomona Hotel. Uh, and it was honestly like one of my favorite moments YouTube wise from throughout the year. Cusco talked about it in his, one of his live streams or one of his videos or something. Um, it was it was a genuinely good time. So we, did, we didn't get it on video, but this is us talking about it after the fact. Literally launched himself across the room. I'll tell you something right now. The one thing you can really tell if I don't like somebody is because when I talk to you, I can't I can't possibly put a smile on my face. Like it'll be I'll be talking. I won't even talk to you. Really. I don't like you. It'll be more like this. He does that to me, so I feel like firsthand. Now he's a big enough fan. He's like rubbing my nipple. All right, so Pomona was fun and all, but two weeks later was definitely the highlight of my 2019. January 18th, 2019 is when this next video took place. It's when my daughter was born. She was born January 18th, 2019, so almost a year ago. She turns one uh, very shortly. We're gonna have a cool little one-year-old birthday party, or first-year birthday party, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but so this is some of the video from the from the hospital. It's just a quick, like a quick little video, but I, I think it's it's pretty sweet, and this was definitely the highlight of my year. I am nervous. That is the hospital right there. If we're at the hospital and I've got all this stuff, it can only mean one thing, the baby's coming. All right guys, she's here. Hold on, she gotta get stuff out. I don't think I got anything. So that was amazing. Obviously, um, having Scarlett born was great. She's healthy. She was healthy. She still is healthy. Um, like I said, about to turn a year old. Shortly after she was born, I was still on leave because I still had a beard. Also, my hair is blonde. Uh, I'll get into that in a different video, but I'm sure a couple people are going to notice and be like, what the hell are you going to not talk about that? Um, but a little bit after that, I did my first spicy challenge of 2019. It was the Coco Loco challenge, something like that. So this is just a short little clip from that. Definitely a really, really pretty box. I dig it. I did eat the whole thing. I don't think it's quite as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Kind of underwhelming. Honestly, that challenge wasn't that bad. I think that one was pretty easy, but it was still kind of a cool, and it started my 2019 hot challenge rampage, I guess. The next thing that kind of stuck out to me was going to the San Diego Zoo Safari Park with Kelsey and my dad, and meeting a cheetah. Uh, we also got to meet a serval, but like, dude, we met a cheetah. What? Uh, this is that video, uh, as well as the cheetah running, and the, I just, I thought this whole entire day was incredibly cool. Wow. 
Wow. He's been here since Ruxa. he was just a few weeks Ruxa. old. But Ruxa was actually born uh, in Oregon. So yeah, I don't know if you guys think the cheetah stuff was as cool as I thought it was, but I thought it was pretty damn cool. Uh, after that, I got to go on, it wasn't my first trip of the year, but it was the first trip that I brought you guys on, and that was my time going to Kauai, Hawaii, um, to go do an assessment at the Pacific Missile Range facility out there. And man, I'll tell you, Kauai is one of the most beautiful places on earth. I mean, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Um, so we look at Waimea Canyon in this one. Then there was this sunset where this native Hawaiian woman was like singing Hawaiian songs. It was just beautiful. The whole entire trip was epic. And then we end it with uh, fishing with some locals that I met the last night in Kauai. So if you guys are watching this, shout out. I still think about you guys all the time. I really want some chili pepper water. I knew it was going to be cool, but I didn't think it was going to be this cool. How's that for a view, guys? And I actually saw a bunch of people fishing right here on the beach, so I figured I'd uh, just pull over and ask them if I could hang out. Yeah. All right, guys. So it's finally dark out. Hopefully, the bite takes off within an hour, hour and a half, something like that. <laughs> I didn't get my. <coughs> oh no! Yeah, fishing on Kauai was definitely epic. Um, it was so cool just to fish with locals, and yeah, granted, we lost a shark, but whatever. It was still a super good time. Uh, the next video is probably my most controversial but most popular video of 2019, and that's the video defending Brian Barczyk. Kind of under fire all the time, and he really doesn't deserve it. You've never been to BHB, you've never been to the Reptarium, you've never seen any of this in real life. All you're taking is pictures from the internet and hearsay from people without talking to people that have actually been there. Uh, I don't regret making that video. I would make it 10 times over again. So Brian, if you happen to see this, I got your back, man. Next up, it definitely wasn't my low point of 2019, but I was pretty disappointed in myself, and that was failing the Tube of Terror. Um, as you guys may know, that's the only hot challenge that has ever beaten me. I've had people ask me if I'm going to revisit it. The answer is probably not. Um, honestly, I, the, just the amount of pain, it was just not a good time. But this is my attempt at the Tube of Terror. If you did not watch that initial video, I highly recommend it. It sucks. All right, uh, two down. They are sweet. I will say that. There's definitely, whew. Ow. Oh, guys, I don't think I can do it. Ow. Oh, I'm calling it quits right there. Sorry. I don't know what exactly I got on video and what I didn't, but my stomach hurts so bad. Yeah. So like I said, that was a uh, that was a brutal video to film. It was just the amount of pain that I felt in that was incredible. Uh, but next up, some cool animals. Um, huge thank you to Triple L Reptile as well as SoCal Scales. Uh, I did some like show off the animal stuff at both of those places, but I just included a little bit of video from Triple L where we were playing a reptile guessing game. Uh, if you didn't play the initial game, feel free to go back, check that out, or you can just try to guess what these animals right here are, because I don't think I actually tell you what they are. But uh, this is the reptile guessing game. Nice. He just peed all over my shoe. So again, this one is pretty easy. All right, so this one is going to be a color phase guess, substantially bigger than he is right now. Reptiles are all fun. You guys know that's one of my passions, but I also love cars. So we're going to take a look at Alex Choi's insane Terminator Lamborghini that I got to see as well as when a Lamborghini shot flames and melted my microphone Which is still melted right now So we're gonna go from crazy loud fast cars to when I surprise you guys with a surprise trip to Japan for a couple weeks So in this one, you know, we go to Kamakura Shrine, which is an absolutely beautiful place We go check out the Great Buddha where I get attacked by a bee huge fear of bees. What else do we do? We head to Tokyo with my buddy JJ Griff 
Uh, we try some super weird food. We check out the Owl Cafe, or not the Owl Cafe, I'm sorry, the Owl Forest in Tokyo, which was one of my favorite places that I went in 2019. Uh, but yeah, Tokyo is always an awesome time. Just check out the history behind Japan. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to photograph inside. We officially made it to the Great Buddha. Boom! Aren't the oh, is that a bee? Uh, uh, uh. No, 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 bruh. I don't do bees. Takeshita Street. Oh, the Menasai in Harajuku, Japan. We'll do this. Okay. This. I don't know. Hi. One. Hi. Each. We're getting some. I don't know what it is. There's so much like stuff on this though. <laughs> It's weird. So we discovered that it has hot dog in it, which is super weird. This place is so cool. It's okay. It's okay. Moving on from Tokyo, uh, I started to hang out with Jay Brewer and the Prehistoric Pet Squad a little bit. So this was, I think, the first video of 2019 that I shot at Prehistoric Pets, if I remember correctly. Um, I know I did some stuff in 2018, some stuff um, before that, like just going up there not filming. But I think this was the first little clip from 2018 that I got. So Jay, thank you for uh, all your support this year. I really appreciate it. I'm the bald python. This is the bald python. Oh, yep. Oh, he's so gentle. Hey. Come on. Come on. You gotta work for it if you want it. Up, up, up. up. There you go. Yeah. So obviously feeding water monitors is always fun. Next up is, I think, animal-wise, probably my favorite video of 2019 and that was me taking my buddy Justin's big albino Burmese python to Hollywood Boulevard and just showing it off to people and getting people to hold it and hang out with it and kind of changing people's minds about how snakes are scary and all that stuff so this is just a little clip from me hanging out with a 12 foot Burmese python on Hollywood Boulevard. Wanna do it? Yeah. No, don't be scared guys. Here, let me just keep wrapping around my leg. I'm just gonna put it right around the shoulders, right? Oh, okay. nice. hey, how heavy is he? Probably like 50 pounds. That was super cool. Um, I did not charge people to do that, by the way. Uh, that was 100% free. But now we're gonna take it back to Jay's because I kind of did a few videos in a row there. Um, we got to hang out with Tori Blake, with Paul Caffaro, with Zach Ketchum, with uh, Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. So this is just some of the times that we had together there. It was all super, super fun. Would you jump in? Would you jump in to go grab them? Ah. ah. This is Tori. Uh, she's from, what's Texas. his name? Texas. Animal World and Zoo and Snake Farm. There you go. Cool place. We're gonna feed some gators, right? Over here. Over. Over. He's like, it I don't stinks. wanna hang on. What do you guys think? <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we made it. Hug it out. We're in LA. We're in their part of the hood. Dude, you're lucky though. In Miami, bro, don't come around Miami. Yeah, in Miami, you don't wanna mess with that thing. Yeah. Now, the biggest change, I think, from 2019 was leaving San Diego, leaving all my friends out there, leaving all my reptile people, moving halfway across the United States to New Orleans, which is obviously where I am now. And uh, this was kind of the first cool animal related thing we got to do in New Orleans, and that was hanging out with a baby sloth. Forrest, the baby sloth. With two R's. Shout out Forrest Fanning. But I don't know if that was the highlight of my New Orleans trip so far because we got to film vlog 100. Um, it was in September or October, I think, that I filmed this. And we basically got to go on an African safari in Louisiana, hang out with giraffes, with um, bison, with camels, baby giraffes. It was so much fun. I highly recommend, that's one of my favorite videos that I filmed this year. I mean, I guess all these are my favorite videos that I filmed this year, but that one was really, really cool. So this is just some of my like favorite moments, I guess, from our little African safari. And welcome to video number 100. Hey, buddy. Uh-oh. Yes, second largest species of antelope. Their, their holes are incredibly smooth. So this is a normal bison. Wow. It just hangs out. The camel just like totally came inside. Scarlet's wondering like what is happening right now. We're about to have a battle royale between a giraffe and a camel for this corn. There you go guys, that was cool. It was incredible. Uh, it was honestly one of my favorite places that I've ever been. But 
Uh, winding down 2019, I went back up to Michigan to go hang out with Brian and Noah and the whole BHB crew. So everything from, you know, trying some spicy hot sauces, shout out Heidi Pfeiffer, to uh, doing a spin the wheel and having to hold Loves to Nip and Argamas Prime and Noah having to hold the alligators, to me, Noah, Andrea, and Bruce taking on Lil Nitro. Um, these are just some of my favorite moments from when I was up there a couple months ago. Um, so we're gonna spin it, and then whatever it lands on, you have to try to protect oh, the house. protection voodoo. Yes, protection voodoo. Ooh, she got the black mamba. We haven't no, we haven't tried that one yet. Oh, no! no! Yes, dude! No! That is way worse than Lucky. Why? I never claim to be a good handler of snakes or anything, but I at least know a little bit. Dude, look at him! Look at him go! Whoa, dude! I've never handled a scorpion in my life, dude. I don't know how to do it. Dad, don't put the stinger first! Fuck! Fucking fuck! Fuck! Fucking fuck! Don't drop it. Dad, let it out! No! Three, two, two one. one. Three, two, one. one. Mm. I'm not okay. I'll link it uh, in the description for all of our TikToks and uh, YouTubes. Woo! It's not gonna do anything but like, uh, make your stomach hurt, right? Right. Mm -hmm. this is so beautiful, <laughs> I know the words. <laughs> Yee -yee. Five, Five, four, three, two, two one. one. Cheers. Laheim. 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 Mm. Oh, yeah. And uh, we gotta have a boys' night and go out and shoot some guns. And funny enough, we kind of ended 2019 going back to mid-2019. Uh, I found some old footage from me hanging out with Austin Salgado from Ball and Chain Constrictor, so I figured I would just show you guys that real quick since that was the last video I posted. There was like no hesitation there either. Nope. Fired up. And she fired to Black Pesto Pedal by now. Wish him good luck in having a baby, because it's scary. It's the scariest thing in the world. But he's gonna be a good dad. Um, yeah, so wish him good luck, and now, see you guys later, peace. Now that all of that is over, guys, 2019 was pretty epic, and I really have you guys to thank for it. Um, huge thank you to the Barchick family. You guys are always awesome and just amazing. Thank you to Kelsey, Scarlett, my whole family, the fans, obviously. You guys, without you, YouTube is kind of pointless. Um, you guys make it worth it to, to film and stuff. I know that I've kind of been slacking, but I promise it's gonna get better. Um, you guys are gonna have a super cool video coming out later probably later this week if not early next week And that's something I've been working on for like three months. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what it is um, If you don't follow me on Instagram, you could have known what it was also TikTok. if you follow me there You know what it is, but for now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this part down I think we're gonna go light off some fireworks and 2019 with a bang I'll bring you guys back to pop bottles at midnight. I got some pretty big fireworks right here. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna let them off, light them off, and then I've got some Roman candles. Uh, it's not midnight yet. I'll bring you guys back at midnight to pop a bottle of champagne, of course. But for now, let's just have some fun with some fireworks. Happy New Year's to you guys. I hope you all had an amazing New Year. And uh, if you didn't, I hope you have a good 2020, I guess. I don't know, kind of a bad segue. Anyways, thank you guys. I appreciate you for watching. If you made it to this point, comment your favorite kind of champagne. Or even if you like champagne or if you don't like champagne. And subscribe, like, comment, notification bell. And like I said, get ready for that awesome video that's coming in just a couple days. I worked really hard on what the video is about and then we're gonna have some more badass videos coming about the next video as well i love you guys peace